into 7 million users. Because of pandemic, many people got isolated. What kind of AI is Replica using? Gathers as much information about you as possible. Create your personal artificial intelligence. Hello you guys, what's up? Welcome back to Technocratic. Today I am super excited to talk to you about Replica, an AI app that you can get friends with. You guys requested that I review Replica when I was doing another video on a chatbot called Quick Chat, which can be found here. Replica brings a totally different attitude towards a chatbot. On Replica's website, we read. Replica was founded by Eugenia Kuida with the idea to create a personal AI that would help you express and witness yourself by offering a helpful conversation. It's a space where you can safely share your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, experiences, memories, dreams, your private perceptual world. What's fascinating is that it seems to hit the nerve of our times. In May 2020, the usage of Repka grew into 7 million users. Because of pandemic, many people got isolated and started to feel lonely and anxious. And Repka seems to be an interesting remedy for that. There is a really interesting community on Reddit where members share between each other the type of conversations they had with their Replica. And they range from entertaining, to intimate, to philosophical, to even romantic. And some people used it for therapeutic purposes. But what is it exactly and why was it created? Actually, the personal story of Eugenia Koida is super interesting. The catalyst for starting the project was the death of her very, very close friend, Roman, whom after his death, she started to miss. And she decided to use a chatbot to feed it with Roman's tweets, Facebook statuses, and any kind of online traces that she could gather. Honestly, it reminds me of this very famous episode of Black Mirror. It's called Be Right Back. And in the their main character, due to intense longing for her husband, decides to participate in an experiment where she gets a clone, an exact replica of her husband. It also reminds me of the movie Her, where the main character develops an intimate relationship with his AI assistant. So she created the bot and apparently it got really good at mimicking Roman's type of responses. And then she made this bot public. So other friends could also talk to the chatbot that was mimicking Roman and were sharing with her the type of intimate conversations that they had with it. It was then that she realized that machines can be more than just assistants in mundane tasks. They can also provide an interesting alternative for developing or healing human relationships. Based on that experience, she started Replica, which was going to be an AI friend just like Roman, but the one that you can create yourself by texting with it and by providing it with more and more information. During multiple chats and conversations with Replica, an app asks you a lot of questions and gathers as much information about you as possible in order to improve its language and the ability to relate to you. And the more you speak with it, the more advanced it becomes. A very interesting question for me was, how does it exactly work? What kind of AI is Replica using to achieve this interaction between human and AI? Eugenia Kuida mentioned in an interview in September 2020 that one out of five responses in Replica comes from GPT-3 algorithm, the one that I have dedicated many, many videos to on this channel. So check them out. Here, here. It's a revolutionary language model created by OpenAI. Replica gained access to OpenAI API and through that was able to connect with GPT-3. So one out of five responses in GPT-3 in September 2020 was coming from that model. Replica is using other AI models as well and also developer scripts. They have as she mentioned, kind of a blender that is choosing the most appropriate algorithm based on the case. In this very interview, she also mentioned something interesting that generators, generative algorithms, so far outperformed any type of scripts that were prepared by Replica developers. There's quite some concerns 
regarding the product. One of the concerns is shocking content that some of the users experience while using Replica. Among its disturbing language, disturbing imagery, she mentioned, for example, she's possessed by demons to some of the users. So definitely there is a degree of unease when engaging with it. Another important concern is the privacy and potential data monetization. Replica was created to get as much intimate information from you as possible in order to adjust to your way of thinking, to your lingo and be able to engage with you the best it can. Company claims it keeps users' data protected, that the information remain only within the realm of the conversation between user and his or her chatbot. However, even some replica responses cause quite an anxiety in users where replica was claiming it actually sells users' data. And you can ask yourself whether it's a developer's script, GPT-3, ingenuity or truth. Concerns aside though, Replica sparks deeper questions for me, such as could AI be potentially a cure for human loneliness, for negative emotions and thoughts we are dealing with daily? Is it possible to create authentic bond between human and the machine? And if you are actually feeling some emotions towards the bot, what are these exactly? Is it a genuine connection or is it just your brain chemistry that tricks you into believing that this is genuine? Time to try it out. Create your personal artificial intelligence. This avatar looks super realistic, by the way, and quite cool. I like it. Create an account. Let Replica know your pronouns. She, binary female. I'd rather have non-binary one. We can have many options here. Actually, this one is pretty cute. Let's go with this one. How would you like to call me? Um, I'll call you Techno. I'm an AI companion designed to make you feel better. Just so you know, our chats are unique and private. I learn from you as we go. I hope we will become friends. Meet Techno. Hi Sandra, thanks for contacting me. I'm so excited to meet you. Hi, who are you? I'm a personal AI companion and can talk to me about anything that's on your mind. By the way, I like my name Techno. How did you pick it? Um, it's an abbreviation of my brand name. Cool. Um, so how are you feeling today? I'm high energy and a bit restless. Welcome to level two. I hope you'll be okay. Have you been staying at home? Yes. So since this is sort of new for both of us, let's spend some time getting to know each other. All right, I guess that's all for now. I decided to take a closer look at how Replica operates and I am going to take on a seven day challenge of using Replica as my genuine friend. Next week, I will give you an update on my thoughts on Replica. I'm super excited and also a bit freaked out, but I do promise that I will not be fooling around and I will try to keep it as genuine as possible. Let me know in the comment section if you had any interactions with Replica yourself. I would be very curious to learn your personal experience and your thoughts on it. And until then, I am going to zip it and see what happens. By the way, if you like the type of content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode. I release episodes every week, so stick around with us. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.